everyone and welcome to another episode of the procrastinators podcast a podcast comprising the most brilliant intellectual titans on the whole internet myself best guy ever being chief among them we've also got monkey jones here <laughs> oh boy you guys are in for a good episode here yeah we're really gonna bring oh, our, our wisdom to bear uh we've got hypocrite oh. hypocrite is here uh i'm very scared <laughs> As you should be. And we've got the Davu. Me and Miradi Drogs are out at night in the town to do a little bit of clunge dunking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Whoa. And he's going to be the star of the show, folks. We, we already know this. Because, all right, guys, here's, here's the topic. You've been waiting for it. You've been asking for it. You've already seen the name of this episode. So you know that it's time for the long-awaited PCP fetish cast. We're, we're diving deep, baby. We're going both hands into that pussy, in and out, <laughs> making it happen, expansion, ballooning, uh, scat. Uh, what else you got? I don't know. Semen drinking, snowballing. It's all on the table, folks. Ew. It's all coming out. Yeah, that's right. Gross. Um, for, for all three of the mm -hmm. ladies at home, be sure <laughs> to get your dildos ready now, because you're going to be yeah. tickling those clits all night long. <laughs> Now, so, just, you know, come right out. I'm going to come right out. I'm just going to say I'm probably going to disappoint <laughs> everyone here okay. because, like, Impossible. it's not that I'm, like, more weird than normal. It's just that I pre-planned how I would talk about my weirdness in a properly paced, distributed way. You have to, like, hmm. it's sort of good <laughs> storytelling, right? Like, I know exactly, I, I've been putting lots of thought into exactly which details to say when. Like, for example, to know the right time to tell people that when I'm reaching for the lube, I sometimes accidentally grab the baby powder because the bottles are right <laughs> in the middle. Oh, right? no! It's all about delivery. More so than the actual, like, substance of Damn right. the thing you're fucking. I'm just here for you to deliver, Davu. I don't care how you do it. Speaking oh, of yeah, that, we're uh, into uh, delivery. Can we get in some baby birth pregnancy kind of shit? That's, you know, that sounds good. Okay, Brilliant, here. Nate. We thought the same thing. We did. Okay, let's read our urban dictionary definition of God fetish so we it. can move on. All right, here we go. Number one. Are we going to do urban dictionary of every single fetish? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, okay, yeah. number one. We might have to refer to it for some more obscure ones. Uh, okay, fetish number one. An object thought to have magical, especially magical, sexual powers. So, my cock. Uh, okay, number two. A sexual fixation or obsession with a usually non-sexual object. Example, socks, horses, monkeys, pain, bondage. Who says horses aren't normally sexualized? Get the fuck out of here, dude. Come yeah. on. Come on. And what's up with monkeys being on that list? That's, that's not cool. That's we are monkeys. Makes sense. Yeah, have you guys sense. ever been to black.com? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Okay. Um. Well, shit, guys. Where do we start this thing? Where do where do we where do we launch? Well, into uh, our discussion? you just said shit, so I think we should start there. Let's start with scat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just. I mean, Davu, Why don't you take us away? What do you What do you <laughs> well, got on? Why are you jump into Davu so quick? Really? Because Actually, I want to yes. get to Davu. He's the most okay. interesting one here. Fine. I, I didn't there understand the, the logical connection there. There is sort of a, a taxonomy. I don't know. There's sort of a distinction between being attracted to the substance of something, and mm -hmm. being attracted to the concept of something. <laughs> and I am a very okay. uh, concept-centric person. Like, yeah. I know that there's a lot of porn. I, I sometimes, the hentai that I really connect with are the ones that have a lot of details about how the character is feeling and what they're being put through. Actually, it's more common in, in Western uh, drawn porn, right? Mm -hmm. Where the character will like experience this horrible torture, and often they just sort of shrug it off like, they're just sort of like, oh, well, I guess this terrible thing just happened to me. And, like, every panel will add on more and more details of the terrible, unfair, cruel suffering that they are going through. And often they don't really react to it with that much suffering. Mm -hmm. And there's something about context that can really uh, get my cock tested. <laughs> uh, that pun did not work out. Yeah, um, okay, okay. Yeah, so, like, yeah, so it's like cruelty, unfairness, like, uh, tragedy, like, just... 
just terrible things happening to someone for no reason at all, if it's then coupled up with some sort of other more specific thing that I'm into, I'm probably going to download it, even if the art is shit, right? Sure. Uh, so, 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 wait, wait, wait. Like, so just, if, mm. if we can dissect this mm. as we go mm. along. So the first point you're making is if people are suffering and it's connected with something sexual. Well, suffering, yeah, suffering is like one of many contexts, right? So, now, regard- does any of this have like... Like, do you have a rationale for it, or is it just oh, like it, an it's, innate it's animalistic different. desire? There's just, yeah, there's, just, there's, there's different logics to it, you know. So, regarding okay. shit, I am yeah. very much not into the substance of it. And I can tell that some people, no. you know, when you see some scat thumbnails out there, it's like, those people just like the feeling of it. Uh, no. But, the humiliation of it, the intimacy of it, right, is... Some is kind of captivating to me. I mean, P obviously is a much more is a much more main is the PG thirteen of that kind of well, direction. Uh, so are, are you like, talking about the thing about P is like I don't like the smell of P, right? But I like mm-hmm. the fact that it, that's so um, it's so TMI, right? It's so intimate. P sure, is, sure, right? I'm with you. So mm-hmm. I mean, you know, me and my girlfriend walking in on each other in the bath bathroom peeing like all the time. Right, mm-hmm. it's great. Sometimes we make out <laughs> while peeing because it's so intimate. You know, like, <laughs> okay, it's, you guys okay. make out while it's peeing. So, Oh yeah, so it's that's great. It's so hey, remember that at scene? my house, we remember? lock the bathroom door. Remember that scene in Almost Famous when the kid walks in on the girl peeing in the bathroom, and she's just like, "Yeah, no, don't worry about it. Just stay here." That was yeah. always a kind of romantic scene. That's I'm really with you. hot. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. And like you know, I think also pee is really fetishized because. Um, hold on, the door is being opened. I Uh-oh. have to wait until the door is shut again before I continue <laughs> talking about this stuff. <laughs> Normies, okay, get out! And now the door, I mean, it was my girlfriend. Anyway, so now she shut the door again. So okay, anyway, so <clears throat> Normies, get out. Because um, like, I think another big fixation of P is that guys and girls do it differently, which I'm assuming is a big part of sexuality. Like, boobs and abs, respectively, can be attractive because mm-hmm. it distinguishes the male and female figure. Um, so like therefore, like, peeing women. out the front or down the center, or, you know, front-ish is like different and that difference is what is captivating in a heterosexual way you know like that's it's like wow that's not how i am right and it's that constant uh curiosity of what that must feel like like my girlfriend a number of times is like what does it feel like to have your dick sucked i'm like it feels mm, like mm. if my clit was several inches long and was being sucked <laughs> like I, I, how do i communicate that to you there's never a way to do it and it's that constant fascination that constant mystery that um i remember jesse said that after the first episode of the pleban we- weeb was recorded that he forgot to mention that in his his personal political philosophy is that if a boy and girl ever switch brains they are fucking obligated to have sex because it will be your right. only chance to know what it feels like on the other side and so i think that is um yeah, differences in, in that is so, uh, Davu, captivating. So you're talking about there's kind of an umbrella here of like um, just sort of exploring the unknown or, or, or experiencing something that's a very private personal thing. That's sort of the underlying thing that there's makes There's a number of stuff. umbrellas I'm talking about, like probably right, right. two in the pink, one in the stink, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> What is that an expression? I'm, try just, to I'm just like imagining like like umbrellas going inside the girl. I'm sure there's a porn of that, right? I'm fuck. imagining I'm imagining it then opening and it just oh, exploding no. them. Oh, and it's like oh no, yeah. oh, people no. have died doing that. Really? Shit. Uh, there was a like a hundred ways to die. Somebody it was like a um, those circus performers who swallow things all the right. way down their throat and the fucking umbrella oh, opened inside no. of them. Oh, oh yeah, like, that's fucked. That's fucked. Yeah. That's not even like a fun, sexy way. Like if it's in your pussy, no. at least that's kind of fun. But uh, no. I died from an umbrella opening in my pussy. That was the sexiest <laughs> way to die. There's worse ways. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So we're we're talking about some 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 general themes here. Um, here, l- let me say a, a specific fetish of mine that I, I I just thought of. I was trying to think of one. I was afraid that my tastes are like too vanilla, but I actually did think of one that I I recognize in myself. I do actually like a lot. And you guys can tell what you think of this. And it's basically, um, you know, because I'm, I'm more attractive to, like, when the women do things. Like, in the, like the porn I watch, the guy is just, like, you know, he's just the dick in the situation doing whatever. So it's, like, the women doing things that's the interesting part. I like it when the women are treated just like meat or, like, fleshlights or, like, <laughs> not even people. Like, mm-hmm. they're just there. They're, like, sex toys. When you, like, treat a woman like a sex toy, I yeah. find that extremely It's that erotic. context. Yes. It's absolutely the context. Now, yeah. I, obviously, I'm not into 
dehumanizing people in general. But uh, you see this a lot in hentai with the mind break porn. Yes. Where you just see a woman get fucked for such a long time. And then eventually at the end, like she's just like, she either is now into it and she's just like, yeah, everybody fuck me. It's great. It's a fun time. Or she's just like, her the, the you, you, see, you can see in the eyes, the way they draw the eyes. Yeah, the they always they draw the dull, eyes like, with this vapid dull. expression, this vacant expression. Like they have no mind left. Exactly. Fucking hot, yeah. Like, um, I like when there's a bunch of porn I've seen where, like, uh, there are these, th- these, these are interesting to me. There's, like, um, uh, there's there's a bunch of porn with like high schools, right? And they're like very high performing high schools. And so I, I forget the name of the show, but like what they did is they assign or there's like a bathroom with female women like strapped into the wall as oh, like yeah. flesh oh. toilets. Oh, oh yeah, I've and seen ever, some of those on D recently. They're just for public recently. use. They're for yeah, public, public use. use. That's a thread yeah. you'll see on D sometimes. Public use. Uh, yeah, it's it's too yeah, is as dehumanizing as possible. It's to make them just this fucking product in a goddamn wall. Though to self-analyze myself on this, I think the reason I'm into it is because for a long time, I had a great deal of, of difficulty actually getting sex. And so I would think about all the, wouldn't it be great if there was just like a toilet somewhere which had women just strapped <laughs> down that I could use? Yeah. Wouldn't that just be great? I'm sure that factors in. So I'm not, I, I understand that. Oh, of course. Oh, absolutely. It's the, um. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a pretty decent reason why there's a correlation between out there fetishes and mm-hmm. shut-ins or of course, otherwise of unattractive of unaccepted people i don't still self-identify as a guy who gets laid ever there Mm -hmm. i still have all these moments of like oh yeah i have like a girlfriend and shit right oh my god like you know and i feel like especially when i'm like 13 or whatever the whole idea of having actual sex is about as foreign to me as the concept of say uh like a fantasy where like everyone in the world (laughs) except me and like maybe five or so girls like vanished like the fucking left behind series all of a sudden right Mm -hmm. which were some of my earlier fantasies right and i thought like yeah like I know logically actual sex is plausible, whereas like a fucking <laughs> anthro transformation is not. But you know, it still felt that my dick felt that way. Let's say you know right. the dick has its own fucking train of logic and its own ideas. Um, and I think that if you you know, I'm just gonna talk about sex in general for ten seconds. This is sort sure. of a general sure. like moral thing I thought of. Like my my this is like my favorite neckbeard. A fedora a statement which is that the whole idea of sex before marriage being bad was a mm-hmm. rule that was invented back when people got married at like 13 and now sort of religion and other things and general societal standards have subjected us to this situation where people go into their 20s as virgins which is probably a thousand fucking times more unnatural than fucking a member of the same sex and i think yep. it is probably quite instrumental in getting people to fuck everything that they see laying around their desk <laughs> I hear what you're saying. It makes sense to me. Humans are obviously extremely sexual creatures, and we want to do it all the time. I mean, at least men. I, I can't speak for women, but they seem pretty similar. They seem pretty similar. Yeah. You can speak for women. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know some women. You know, when I was a kid, I really thought that, like, women just didn't have sex drive. Turns out I just met a bunch of shitty prudes. That's not true. That's not <laughs> Turns true. out I was a kid, and they weren't revealing that information to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Hippo, what are your fetishes? Like, holding hands, kissing? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, Hippo was like, I remember whenever we... Whenever... Mud puddles. It's mud puddles, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. No, no. That sounds like Hippo's an offset pretty... of Davu. Hippo's pretty high up there. Hippo, um... I think he's the only one... Who, like me, who was like firmly from the sort of deviant art school of fetishization, whether or not he's used mm-hmm. that well, website. There's what, like inflation? There, because there, well, there's, there's 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 a number of different categories, right? There are the sort of when surface level. Fetish- all right, let's, let's speak for himself. Yeah, let's You're hang right, on sorry, here. Let's <laughs> move on. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I guess I am kind of up there. Um, like Davu, I have an umbrella of like. I don't know whether uh, about many umbrellas. Eat your ha- pussy uh, right now. Is that what you're getting? Yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I keep buying them. You know. <laughs> I just keep putting them in because they get lost, and I just have to keep adding more. Okay, I'm the, sorry. Like the, <laughs> I feel I feel all apprehensive about this. I'm not as gung ho as about. Dude, like, no matter what you say, it will not be as fucked up as the shit I already said about wanting uh, to dehumanize I mean, women and yeah. treat them like meat. So don't worry. It's, about it's, it. it's 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 you know you shouldn't be hyped up for what I'm about to say. It's really just okay, that okay. I ha I I do I, you know uh, the, 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 uh, my umbrella is more about like um growth and growing. So inflation is part of that, but it's hmm. it's not like. All right, uh, maybe just I'm like trying to think of a way to, to to put it. Growth mm. in in humans in any facet is like something I'm really interested in, a realistic or not. But usually I prefer the realistic stuff. So like um, like the the natural breast in, uh, growth of of girls, mm. just like if they 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 just 
you know, a young teenager, and then, you know, over the years, they get, like, real big boobs, and they're like, oh, sure, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm a sex god, and I'm like, yeah, that, that whole, that whole process was great. Sequence. It's, it's the sequence, it's the process, it's right. the, the going from one to the other, it doesn't necessarily have to be, sexy. I agree. yeah, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be, um, a thing that I would like otherwise, like, you know, it could mm-hmm. be a penis, it could be, like, a, just a, <laughs> a person penis. going, uh, like, a giant, giantess, it could be uh, yes. somebody getting really fat, even though I don't like fat people. I think that's the thing. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, the, the fat like, thing falls into like the humiliation, demeaning. You've become worse. Specifically, hey, fat women yeah. are beautiful. All right. Do uh, not well, change. I mean, the thing, I mean, fat, the I'm thing talking about like, it. I'm talking like actual like fucking round. Like I'm talking like there are D threads okay. of blueberryfication straight <laughs> yeah, out of right. Willy yeah. Wonka. Yeah, right. I'm not, I'm not kidding. It's, yeah. Willy Wonka off to the Willy Wonka movie. Oh, no, no, I'm not. It's not even like that's, that's not even shit. hyperbola, man. Willy Wonka, mm-hmm. that one hyperbola. scene <laughs> did in fact incep- like incepted a very specific blueberry based fetish in the dicks of many young men. <laughs> You're right, uh, you're right. Not me. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty flexible. I can do it sometimes, but 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 some people well, wanna... are pretty into it because it's like when you see that girl reduced to this pathetic little blob out of her own misdeeds. It's like that's some fucking grade A context right there. You know what I mean? It's just how how the the Disney cartoon Robin Hood got all you guys into My Little Pony. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. Obviously, if you if you want to talk about correlation and causation with fetishes, Disney and furry is pretty fucking ob- unobjectionable. Yeah. Zootopia, baby. It's a. I was a late bloomer, but I want to go fuck a rabbit. Yes. Now. You know, I I do want to talk about uh, well, uh, anthropomorphized would... stuff, but I, I want Gib to to go on first. Yeah, I was, it wasn't finished. Uh, yeah, but now I've lost my train of thought. I was talking about. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not necessarily the thing in question, like the the being fat. Like I don't like fat people. I don't like just seeing a no, fat person. No, I hate them. But uh, the idea of somebody just eating uh, like so much that they become a giant, like even to ridiculous proportions. Just becoming a giant mm-hmm. blob of like you can't even see their face. They're so, uh, you know, it's yeah, like it's like weird. Is. It's it's yeah. I mean, inflation feels weirder because the, it's just a sphere, and yeah. they just go outwards in a in a sphere, and it's like uh, that's so far removed from I human I don't anatomy that I can't even. What's attractive about that though? Can you explain yeah, to me? Yeah, I all? wanted to ask, but I didn't want to seem rude. <laughs> uh, what what about the fat thing? Well, like, yeah, yeah, so like, like somebody I... gets blown up and you can't recognize their face, and it's all well, like it's, dysmorphized. It's not, it, yeah, but that's the thing. It's not the end result. It's the fact mm-hmm. that it just goes from one to more. Yes. it's like the growth aspect. The the going oh. so like, like the accelerated plus. puberty. Yeah, well, anything, any any sort of growth thing. That's just really what I'm into. Any any growth okay, well. thing, and and what I'm into like mm-hmm. the most is the stuff that could actually happen in real life, like like breast enlargement. Just over well, time, yeah, like a girl uh, turning okay. fourteen. I'm into that too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, well uh, uh, that's interesting. But like, what I think this is, we're we're coming from a slightly different perspective, at least the way I view this stuff. Uh, whereas, at least how like this specific fetish works, because like when I'm thinking about porn, or like what gets me off is like I think about how my dick gets involved in this situation, <laughs> and like th- yeah. that's what I'm really focused on. And I, I yeah, just don't understand how my dick gets involved in like an inflation that's, situation. That's that's yeah. That, that, well, that's it. That is the thing. It's it's yeah. it's it brings us like, back to the thing I said before the, about the, how wait wait give, sorry. Sorry. Was, was, I, had, I really on. wasn't sure if he was gonna say it or not I'm sorry well I'm okay. saying I'm gonna say it it's it's the concept it's the mm. idea of something happening um right. I'm trying to think of okay. like exactly like the fat thing because like sometimes it's it's nice when they just get put, uh, like chubby like just a little bit and they're like oh no I put on weight but mm. you know you love them anyway like that's that's all right but then there's this stuff where it goes way over the beyond Beyond what I would consider, like after I'm finished, I look at it and I'm like, "Ooh, oh god." <laughs> oh, well, that's that's not, normal. Not I've, beyond I've been the there. point that you'll use it, but beyond the point where once you're done, you're like, "Yeah," and mm, it's not, and it's not, far. it's not about sex. At some point, at some point, like um, there are things that aren't sexual about growth that get me mm-hmm. feeling weird. But it's not, you oh, know, yeah. it's not my dick that's feeling it. It's just like anything that where there's like. Uh, like a monster in a thing that just eats souls and it grows to a gargantuan size. It's not about sex, hmm. but it does make me feel a similar feeling. So okay, really, but could you jack off is, to it? Is to this feeling? Um, I don't know. Like, hmm, like okay. it may, I think the last time I remember it like very vividly was when in One Piece, Gekko Moria was like getting right. loads of shadows, and he was going in and he was becoming gigantic. But not hmm, only that, okay. in the anime, he had his voice deepened like several octaves, and it was. It was terrifying. I was absolutely I terrified of it, and that I think that was what it was. It's the, it's the behemoth like gargantuan size that is uncontrollable. It's like a Godzilla. It's like that's that's 
you know, it's way beyond anything I could even imagine. It's terrifying. Right. Hmm. That's that... that's what makes me feel weird. And then if they have tits, then it's also sexy, I guess. I see. Yeah, so like... the, the the female pirate from One Piece Episode 1, do you like her? Doesn't she get all big and fat? She, well, no, she's she, just, she, she just starts from the fat. start. She actually oh, gets... That's... She actually gets way skinnier later and becomes like a sex god as like oh, a slim shit. lady. Yep. Wait, yep. she comes back later on. They have to bring back even the the episode one villain well, for this shit. She, she comes back with like a whole new context and is actually a much more interesting character when she does and is pretty cool. So uh, she did. She comes back. You, quite, Oda. Salvaged her well. <laughs> <laughs> Oda doesn't forget, man. But yeah. okay, we don't need to get <laughs> so, into so all that shit that we were just talking about. Once again, goes back to the whole. Um, if you're a fucking virgin, your dick thinks that nothing is going to happen to it, so you might as well fantasize about anything. Like, you can just keep going further and further down the, uh, the fucking giant fat rabbit hole there. And, Having you know, sex at... is a good way to stop sexual exploration, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah it really you gotta... is. Um, yeah. And, like, so, like, inflation, right? I think it, a lot of it does... It, once again, talking about the whole context and also tactility thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, I'm, I'm looking... I've, I've, I've deviant art searched some... Uh, and oh, there's, a, there's a pretty decent uh, focus on panty shots, which is to say this giant white wedge that uh. is vaguely in between their two feet, right? And, like, imagining what that must feel like to have those panties be so stretched out, which, you know, realistically the clothes should just rip off, but usually mm -hmm. the clothes manage to stretch out, right? And it's right. that feeling of, like, hmm, what would a vagina feel like if it was this giant 12-foot uh. ball, See, see right? now I see how my dick can get involved here. This makes right, more exactly. sense to me. <laughs> Nikki's looking at me, my, my girlfriend, that's her name, and uh, mm. just letting you know, like, I'm not particularly into this one. Like, I mean, okay, if I had okay. to, I could do it, but not really. But, like, but again, also there is the context of, like, a fact that a girl could be reduced to something like that is like oh man that is so hot that she could be so like i'm talking like a ball i'm talking like an actual fucking ball nikki is like looking at me like shaking her head and that's hey, the nikki thing. don't <laughs> kink shame this man get the fuck out if you're gonna be if you're gonna be bottling up my hero devu this is a sexual safe space exactly exactly that's why pedophilia is Triple okay S. Yeah. No, we'll get into pedophilia. I'm Nate. looking forward to it. You, you, you got more turns coming That's up. perfectly natural. <laughs> we will. We'll, all right, we'll get I've, to that. I've got something else to say about okay. the stuff. There's the, the, the Futanari fetish. Sure, uh, okay. Chicks, chicks with dicks. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, this, this whole thing. It's called a trap. It's called a trap. No, it's, sometimes, it's, no, it's sometimes, a separate thing. It's a separate thing. So, I mean, sometimes I, sometimes I see images of, of Go when D. it's just a girl. Buddha and traps are distinct. It's, it's just mm -hmm. a girl with, a, you know, not even wearing anything down there, just sort of having the dick swing around because it's like 50 feet long. <laughs> right. It doesn't make any sense. But um, I, I, over the course of, like, looking at that sort of stuff, I've come to realize that I like it um, not because... Because I can disassociate the idea of a male and the idea of a penis. Yeah, and I don't know whether do. it's it's like the because because as a man I have a penis and I, I'm not repulsed by it because it's not gay to look at your own dick because mm -hmm. you have it. Mm -hmm. So the idea of someone else's dick, it's just uh, you know the dick isn't inherently male because no. the you know it's like there's an idea of maleness being uh, gay. Uh, but you can't be gay if you look at yourself, you know. So the the dick isn't right. inherently gay. So if a wow, girl has a, a dick, logic. then it's just it's just you know a girl with a thing. And you know, I right. actually had thought about this point for a long time because my favorite hentai to this day is still Bible Black, and Bible Black is just full of Fuda. It's like Fuda Central, and uh, I I really had to think about like mm, okay, so you've got just a woman here having sex with well, you've got uh, Professor Kita uh, Kitami, yeah Kitami, who is she's just a woman, but she like uses magic to grow a dick like above her vagina, and then she has sex with women with it. So like that that's cool, but like what's what are the what are the uh, the bits of this equation here. So you've got two women plus one dick, basically. So, like, basically, when you're watching them having sex, so, like, th for example, uh, in episode one, they're having doggy-style sex, her and this green-haired girl. Um, so, like, when you're, when you're watching from the front angle, you get to see two pairs of, of tits bouncing around while they're having sex. So that totally fulfills my criteria of imagining where my dick would be in this situation, and I get to mm. see two ag excellently animated ba pairs of tits bouncing around. It's fantastic. It's really great and I love it. Now I, I actually do prefer uh, like one man one woman just because it's that much easier for me to project myself into it. In case you can't tell, like my tastes are extremely basic here. I just want to be able to imagine how I'm having sex with this person. That's what I do like 
every See, time. I'm, I'm wondering I'm about that because I don't know mm-hmm. whether I even think about that when I'm looking at porn. I yeah, think, I mean, I'm not sure either. I, I, really, I, really, I think. What I and that's why, like, is, I can't. I've never been into like lesbian porn at all because, like, I can't. Well, I'm, I'm not, not into that either because it's okay. You know. Yeah, lesbian porn's boring. But, I, I um, mean, I legitimately I think, think so. Digi would argue against that, but I, I do think that. But no, like, I, I think so too. I wouldn't watch that shit. Okay. I, I think it's like. I, I get a grasp of what the character is, and then I just imagine how I would interact with that person instead okay. of just okay. uh, literally taking the place of whoever is actually so having. So you're sex actually with using them. like you're using more imagination than I am when I because like I'm you, just projecting maybe. myself, whereas you're kind of coming up with your own stuff. I'm coming up with like lore and stories of like potential. He's like, coming up happen. with cum. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, Indeed. of course. But yeah. Well, that's but, yeah, that's interesting. That, that's that's why I like. I like um like characters a lot. Like I'm I have so many waifus because I just keep thinking about what they would do to me or what I would do to them. I've got a couple waifus myself, so I'm no stranger to that. But uh, yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. When it comes to specifically porn, though, I do notice this about myself and my viewing habits. I'm looking for a guy fucking a woman because that's what I want to do. I want to see most of the woman. I don't want to see the guy's face. Like whenever they put a guy's face in. I mean, I just prefer it if they don't. Obviously, you know, you, you see that in porn all the time. They try yeah. to keep the guy out of the shot. Oh, you know what? You know what? It might be. It might be mm-hmm. because I'm not like, like built like uh, the sort of normal. Uh, I'm not either fat or muscular. And whenever mm-hmm. there's a You're guy fucking fat, a girl, as they call it. Mm. I'm I'm just I'm just kind of small. I'm small and skinny. Yep. <laughs> and that's uh-huh. that's more similar to the shape of a woman than it is uh, the, know, the um, shape of the man mm-hmm. that is usually fucking the girl in the hentai. So I can't right. really project myself onto that big muscular man. I, I so it's easier to project myself into like one of the Futanari girls. Maybe I maybe that's how it works. Girl, I know a girl who like she can't enjoy porn if the girl who is in the porn is like not white, right? And I'm, and she feels bad about okay. that. But I'm like, hey man, okay. it's how you see yourself. And like for me, I don't really think of myself racially. I just think of myself as like having like curly hair and like having mm-hmm. sort of my general <laughs> kind of face. Right. If there's like a guy who's like a big manly man with a beard, I can't project at all. Right. Or yeah. if they've got like straight hair or like short hair, I can't project at all. But if it's a guy black or white or whatever, but he's got like kind of thick hair and sort of like just doesn't look like a grown ass man, I can project myself way more easily and I'm way more into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I do like it when the guy looks as much like me as possible. And if he's, like, super ripped or anything, that will be distracting, as if he's, like, black or something, because I'm not black, so it's like, okay, well, that's not me. Um, yeah, but it's never really been, like, a huge issue for me. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like usually at the moment of actual, like, coming, I'm thinking intensely about the feelings that the female is going through. I'm, I'm, I'm latching entirely onto that fascination of what it must feel like for them. I feel like that's the moment where I usually, like, uh, end up at, uh, because, I don't know, that's just, so that's usually why I can, I can, I can, I don't need a guy to be involved, although it does often help, but I do plenty of, like, just two girls, just thinking about what they are feeling, you know, just constantly empathizing with that. And by the way, to those of you, I, there is a contingent of people out there who argue that, like, lesbian porn is the straightest porn for guys to watch because there's uh, no man there. Obviously, it's yeah. less gay than watching a man have sex. Like, what are you, gay, bro? Why do you like looking at dicks, dude? Uh, just uh, letting you know, totally that's incorrect, real. guys. Reasonable. It's incorrect. <laughs> yeah, reasonable. Yeah, I think they're onto something. Uh, okay. Maybe they should chop those or, uh, their own one off. And then they won't <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They won't be gay anymore because they won't have a dick. That yeah. makes a lot of sense to me. Um, oh. Well, Davu, did you have more of your diatribe to go through? Because we cut you off like an hour ago. Well, I mean, no, I'm, I'm willing to like just. W- I mean, I do have more. I do have some notes. Oh, yes. Well, I'm ready for it. Yeah, let's meander through that again. So, as I was kind of alluding to a little bit ago, like there's sort of like um different cores or different layers of fetishism, you know, based on like how obscure it is. Like, you know, people might say like it, it's it's a debate as to like what fetish is more weird than another one. Like, say choking, you could argue, well, that's like bringing about death. That's like pretty fucking extreme. And mm-hmm. also fairly common. Yeah, tons you know, of women, women so love that, So here's the thing, especially. right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, all that inflation stuff. I think DeviantArt is still primarily the uh, the home of stuff of that sort of sect- sector, right? I'm sure there's plenty on Tumblr, but Tumblr tends to be more of a quality zone uh, in terms of what you're going to see. Uh, DeviantArt is an absolute dumpster fire of quality, <laughs> uh, and that is what inflation is. You know, I'm sure there's probably a number of people drawn to it because of the amount of quantity of it, because inflation is easy mm-hmm. to draw because it's a circle. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, true. That's true. true. <laughs> Does Kirby and... count as inflation porn? Just inherently? Oh, shit. Well, already, probably. Oh, there's probably... Know? 
Like, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of people who work at Nintendo were into inflation. There's a couple too many times. <laughs> no, man. Like, you know Super Mario Galaxy 2? Yoshi has a power-up oh, in yeah, that where he inflates. Yeah. And Mario, like, doggy-style grabs onto Yoshi's ass and floats up with him. I'm like, this was animated with a little bit too much uh, TLC for oh, me you to, know, like, I, not be entirely I, unsuspicious. I hear what you're saying. And I'll, it also happens that in uh, both the Galaxy games, there's those Lumas that you have to force-feed tons of bits oh, to. Oh, and then they, them? they get oh, fat oh, and then they explode. And let's Let's not even get star. into fucking Mario and Luigi, Bowser's inside story, which is oh, all about boy. being inside every intimate detail of Bowser's body, and also he grows and shrinks a number of times, and also and the, he has a weight gain scene. Yeah, Someone yeah. who that works at scene. Nintendo jacks off to Bowser daily is, is, is what I'm saying. Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> you think somebody... Yeah, it's true. You think anybody jerks off while playing Dig Dug? Oh, uh, God. Th there's the inflation. And not to mention, of course, is mentioning Miyamoto, there's the whole power mushroom thing that makes Mario big. You know? Oh, yeah. It's pretty mm, similar. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so, like, there's a the whole DeviantArt section. And, like, but the thing is, if you go to DeviantArt and search fetish, then click newest, you're going to get bondage, 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 latex, 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 furry, latex, mm. bondage, 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 inflation, Bondage, bondage, bondage. <laughs> uh, Where do I sign up? Cut off. Right. So the thing <laughs> oh, is, those no. fetishes are way more common, right? Those fetishes are much more in the realm of people who do actually, you know, go out and meet people, right? So there's this website mm. called FetLife, which is a dating website for fetishes, and it's all about the those kinds of fetishes, right? And this list that I posted on the Discord chat, I might even share it on the internet somewhere. It's a list of FetLife's top oh, 100 fetishes as picked by its users, like how many like users have identified with this fetish. So oh. bondage, oral sex, spanking, hair pulling, anal sex, blindfolds. Um, then you go down to the bottom, you get stuff like enemas, daddy, girl, bisexuality, teasing, submission, orgasm denial, cock sucking, flogging. These are all things that can be done in real Wait, life. Cock These sucking is basic, at the bottom? This is basic shit. Yeah. I know, right? And there were some weird stuff. I mean, one time Getting I saw... Getting a blowjob is a fetish? The thing about that life is you can actually <laughs> add any fetish you want. And what you'll see is a lot of profiles, men and women, they'll just start, like, mass adding, like, hundreds, literal hundreds of fetishes that were submitted to the site while they jack off. Mm -hmm. um, so some <laughs> of them get really specific, you know, like, <laughs> laying down while daddy rams his cock through my left ear socket. That kind of thing. Oh, right? no! <laughs> okay. Devu, is this the website you use to meet your current girlfriend? Uh, no, I, that was a different one. This website kind of oh. sucks, because I'm not into these kinds of fetishes enough. You right. know, I'm, mm, right. I'm in, and whatever. Anyway, so, like, there's that there's that difference. And so when you go to somewhere like DeviantArt, it's a much more obscure realm of, like, sex doesn't even have to be involved. In fact, that's actually another thing I want to talk about in the minute but i might have to like restrain myself so i don't just go on straight for oh, a whole two hours please don't um <laughs> which is that like like um <clears throat> sex isn't even most of my fetishes like the whole diaper thing right the whole abdl segment that's yes the, that's the acronym right but what is abdl stand uh, for <clears throat> there's two different subgroups there's diaper lover that's the group for the diaper thing right then there's adult yeah. baby which is infantilism right yeah. you can't be one without the other i think a lot of people are but abdl Vote up infantilism people <laughs> yeah so um so, so like, <clears throat> that often, if you go to DeviantArt and you look up, like, diaper art on there, most of it, in fact, the vast, 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 vast majority of it, never is explicitly sexual if you don't have that fetish. And if you were somehow unaware as to how fetishes work, or you just weren't cottoned on to the nature of the internet, you might just be generally weirded out and not even realize that there is anything sexual going on. And in fact, the comments section and the whole community on DeviantArt is amazingly chaste, or chat, uh, roundabout. It never, there's no one who mm -hmm. just comments, I came to this picture, like you'd find on certain <laughs> other websites. There's other. There's a site called diaperedanime.org where people will say, I came to this picture, right? Um, but is it just like a, if you go to DeviantArt, is there a gif of uh, the Rugrats theme song when Tommy's diaper falls out of the air and lands on his legs perfectly? Uh, probably, yeah. But, oh, you know, cool. there's some good art. I, I came to that, too. Yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> no one ever talks about sex there. No one talks about being turned on by all that shit. People just sort of say, ah, cute. Everyone, this is on DeviantArt, like, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, it's it's almost yeah, like okay. a weird like sort of drug deal. Like it's like it's like a drug market where everyone's <laughs> like, "Hey, do you have the uh, the gashi? Thank you. Mm, mm. Ah, this one will be quite nice up on my mantelpiece." You know? Are you, you know, suggesting there's deviancy on DeviantArt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, in the diaper community specifically, but all those like I don't know what to call them, like the the pure fantasy ones where no sex is involved. Like most characters aren't hardly even drawn in sexually compromising positions half the time, right? There's never any like genitals involved okay. like almost never and it's like 
but it's still entirely something you can jack off to. <clears throat> I can jack off to. It's <laughs> entirely <laughs> something that, like, it's, it's it, all those things I mentioned before. Context, humiliation, the sensation of, like, what it must feel like, you know, like, what a diaper feels like tactilely. You know, maybe some people think, or think it's a really good feeling. I don't fucking know. You know I'm not See, that's, sp- that's interesting, because I just fundamentally do not understand anything that isn't, like, like jacking off to anything that isn't just sex. And that's a limiting thing for me. That's a, that's a hang-up I personally have, so so I'm, uh, I'm just very <laughs> interested to hear all you're about You're only living stuff. half a life, Nate. I know. Yeah. I need to expand my horizons. Expand is right. <laughs> yeah. I should have got a diaper for this and be crapping in it as well. Oh, this God, is my goodness. favorite episode so far, and we're like half an hour in. Yeah. yeah this is good. This is good. Uh, I'm actually learning from Davu. I didn't know all these things existed, and he's like educating us on the communities, and I'm really interested in it. Me too. Mm. Well, yeah. uh, do you have any any further points to make? I mean, we've got some other things we can go to if you like. But dude, um, he has two hours. He has a whole PCP lecture of points to make. I'm Let sure he think. does. Um, oh yeah. So what you were talking about a little bit ago, Nate, is that like, because you can go pretty deep dive into D esque stuff sometimes, right? Uh, what is D esque? Uh, like D four chan board. Oh oh D esque. Yes yes uh, yes. Yeah, I see yes, what yes. you mean. Mm-hmm. Um, but I feel like the core is all about the dick and the pussy, right? Uh, for me, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Now, for me, yeah. I mean, this is becoming yeah. this is becoming less true having like this actual girlfriend to fuck, but mm-hmm. but especially you know all alone. Uh, I feel like there's this sort of difference, this sort of gradient between like having fetishes as a garnish versus the fetish is the beginning. Like you are jacking off to the fetish, and sex mm-hmm. isn't even involved, as I described just a bit ago, right? And um, I think there are like a lot of people who might like. Like, if you look at, like, live-action diaper fetish porn, it's usually right. that. 90% of it is girl puts on a diaper and then jacks off or gets fucked. And the diaper is just sort of there as, like, a little garnish to, like, ooh, okay. it must be a nice tight feeling and also makes her look like a little girl. Yum, yum, yum. Big difference between that <laughs> and, like, writing ex- – yeah. <laughs> D- big difference between uh-huh, that uh-huh. and then, like, extensive multi-branching stories on cyoc.net about a girl uh, becoming incontinent and shitting herself and being changed by every different member of her family and okay. coming to that for about a weekend straight. Maybe something along those lines where sex <laughs> never even gets involved. That's being submerged into the yeah. same fetish that for others is a garnish. Um, Wait, so for okay. you, are you saying it's a garnish or a sub- Oh, it's a pretty submersion. submerged, yeah. <laughs> That's my dude. <laughs> so it, That's my guy. If, if I can ask, what is the appeal of a girl becoming retarded and her parents changing her diaper? Um, well, doesn't uh, the, kind of just Nikki, mean you can't what's the feeling about a girl becoming retarded and her parents changing her diaper? <laughs> Good question. She just gives me a sad face. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just deep personal trauma. That's really the root cause. <laughs> no, I don't Yeah, I you want to answer? You, oh, I'm going to give her the mic. She's, okay. gonna, she's coming up. Get, get in close now. Any second. <laughs> get your loop ready, happen. everybody. Retarded? Uh, y- what? Yeah, 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 what's yeah, hot yeah, about uh, you know your your girl being retarded um, and then changing her diaper? Feeling powerless? <laughs> her being... Okay, I can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah, now, is that hot it. for the guy or the girl? Oh, so she just says being powerless. Sorry, she, I have the headphones on so she can't hear you. This is a really awkward oh. idea. Oh, I knew I having, letting her be in the room would be weird. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. It's the sheer powerlessness. The sheer... um. A dehumanization of it. They have no independence now, right? Well, Those are the things well, I about usually you? whisper in her ear during sex. It, like, what? you have no brains, no ability to think, no independence, <laughs> no ability to make decisions, no freedom. You don't have well, you don't have the option for freedom. You have no ability to choose. Okay, right? all of that is true in Trump's America for a woman anyway. <laughs> that so is true. Now I know. I just I know that sounds weird, people. But there's a lot of I'm sure there's a lot of virgins listen to this. This is normal shit to say during sex. It is not weird to say the most fucked up shit. To to get me Nate, I don't even know why you're bringing that up. Huh. I thought it was perfectly well, okay. fun. Uh, all right. I got a, wait, wait, wait. Give, give, okay. I got a question. Oh, um, Nikki wants water. Never, I thought she wanted a microphone. She just wants some water. She must be uh, sweating a lot. Okay. Go on. Okay. Go <laughs> all right. Uh, Devu. Yeah? Uh, that would More that... like da poo. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Nailed, nailed it. Uh, I've been holding that one in all night. <laughs> hey, that's what you're going to say tonight, aren't you? <laughs> oh, oh, hey. All right. Everybody shut up. Give. Go on. Would Would that idea work also with somebody who was just a vegetable like they they had brain damage Fuck. and they can't um, move not as good no not not as good no all right why is the diaper part of that then what why is well, that like if they're retarded if enough they're... to be needing to wear diapers it's just kind of a i guess but, sort but of an still... indicator of the low level that they're functioning at sort of yeah they need yeah. that you know yeah, yeah. but sense. it's only it's only attractive if you know it's an illusion because if it was like an actual person you wouldn't want to do right right 
Maybe. Yeah. So yeah, I, I can see that. If, <laughs> Maybe you know. he slips that okay. in. <laughs> well, if, uh, if there was a, a real twenty-year-old girl who actually like fell off a motorcycle without a helmet and became uh, retarded and wore diapers, you would want to have sex with her. <laughs> well, okay. All right. All right. Let's not let's Monkey, not put you in this position, guys. You gotta you gotta you gotta listen to me on this, okay? Because there's there's nothing wrong with being attracted to like the most fucked up shit. But like, oh, yeah. it, it's not like you have to like. Even if you admit that you're attracted to something, that doesn't mean that you're going to like to fuck do, a yeah, person absolutely. who meets these well, criteria. Yeah, well, that's I wasn't like it's okay to be attracted to it. I was asking if you would actually rape this retarded person. I don't think um, no, because I would feel bad if I would, if yeah. I was brought up in a society for where for whatever reason rape was not frowned upon. Then yeah, but. That's not the case. <laughs> you know, that's all we need. That's all we need. Let's keep going. I mean, like, it's not like, oh, I'm not doing it because I'm not allowed to. It's, it's like because people would feel bad about it, I would feel bad about <laughs> like, it. Like, right? okay, everybody needs it's, to understand. Kind of if you're raised in a culture where, like, you, when you get older, like, you and your brother have to fight and you have to kill each other and the winner gets the inheritance or whatever, like, you yeah. would do that. Like, that's that's what we're talking about. Like, being in an yeah. immoral culture, we, we understand, of course, that these things are not good, that you shouldn't right. do them in real life. But, like... It, like, but I, if society thought it was okay, we would just do it. Well, yeah, if but, society thought you could do things yeah. that you want to do that aren't okay now, then you would do them too. Yeah. Like that's just how humans work. It is. Yeah. It's all because. Oh no, I'm, I'm totally right. on board. Why right. do you seem so defensive? I'm on board. Harm to people getting involved, like I, doing, like, I, like. But when it comes to not doing harm, like you know, maybe do I Google like medical journals of parents raising their retarded children and jack off to that? Sometimes, potentially, you know, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, okay. we, all we've right. all been there, Nate. This is fascinating. Why are you freaking out? I, I'm not freaking um, out. I'm just I, making sure people understand. That's my only goal. I, I understand I, completely. It, it's yes, it's very do. much uh, not as bad uh, to say out loud, but uh, the same sort of things sometimes happens with me with, like, breast expansion and stuff, mm -hmm. where I would look at charts of, like, um, the average cup sizes over oh. certain decades, and I would jack off exclusively to the idea that breasts in general are getting bigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, man. That, that's kind of funny. Oh man, like, okay, I want to talk about sequences for a second, because like, there was some like medium-sized kerfuffle on the internet a few years back over like some Im image that was meant for Tumblr alone, but somehow found its way into the SJW anti-SJW sphere mm -hmm. or on uh -oh. Twitter and Facebook and such of an image sequence. It was probably Sargon of Akkad who leaked it. <laughs> of, of, like, this girl who's, like, a bimbo, a gyaru, or whatever, however, however you say it. Gyaru, yeah. And yeah. she slowly transforms into becoming shorter, smaller oh, boobed, one. Uh, pale, darker haired, glasses wearing, book carrying, right? And you look at it. Are you sure it wasn't the other way around? Doesn't she become the bimbo? Um, no, it's I the other way. Around. Wait, no, it's the other way around. I remember specifically. And like, okay, if you say so. Um, and like for me, uh, at first, because I had heard about it in the context of this SJW fight, I was like, oh wait, huh? Is that trying to send this message of of fucking? It's important to not be attractive and be bookish instead. But then I, right. I looked at it more closely. I'm like, oh, it's a transformation sequence. And I posted it without context on the PCP chat. And Gib was like, oh, hey, it's a transformation sequence. It's a very classic medium of like have right, point A to right. point B. You show the steps. You know, maybe they turn into a pig. They turn into like twice their age. Two characters merge into one. You know, that kind of thing. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the sequence of events that itself can be attractive. Yeah. And I, I remember people got mad about that because, okay, I honestly can't remember which step came first. But, like, she went from, like, what appears to be, uh, like, a smart – I mean, it was the other okay, way around. She, she, she gets a tan or, or, like, she loses her tan. But people took that to be, like, a racial thing. That, like, she's, oh, like, yeah, they thought becoming, it was a racial thing. Like, yeah. people thought it was that, which it wasn't at all. She just, like, got a tan and became, like, a right. sexy housewife or well, whatever. It, yeah, it, I mean, it was a racist thing. It was a racial thing. It was a fetishistically racial thing, not a politically I, racial one. I, I'm not sure I agree with that. Like, I, I, I mean, maybe that's true, but it looked to me like she just got a tan. Yeah. But, okay, but, but putting that aside, was, like, it doesn't matter either way. It's about the transformation, and that's know, it. I was thinking about, like, why it is that, like, growth and, like, big things getting bigger and, like, not getting smaller. Like, getting smaller is bad. I don't like that. But getting bigger <laughs> is good. And I was thinking probably that stems from... Is it because you want from... to be bigger? Is that, like, a personal uh, thing, it, maybe? I don't know. I think it might stem from the fact that I'm just small and I'm used to people being bigger. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the idea of a giant woman is pretty good. You know, Giant like that woman. Steven Universe episode. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, one. see, you that, know, that's the first one I ever saw. Oh, it's a good man. one. I like. I thought, you know, this is going to be good jerk off material <laughs> later on. We were talking about relating, connecting, empathizing with the the guy in the in the fucking thing. You know, you also have like the contrast of the fantasy. I'm sure a lot of people are like, well, I want a guy who's all attractive and muscular because that's what I want to be. Um, and of course, that's obviously why dicks are so big. You know, as a potential alleged slightly above average dick user myself, <laughs> right? Whoa. That has yeah. no appeal to me. I, honestly, no. I just look at like a 10 inch dick. I'm like, whatever. 
Small yeah. penis humiliation. That's nothing for you. SPH, as it's called on D, is yeah. pretty good. I'm really down for that. Like when like the anime girl just grabs the dick and is like, this is it? Wait, isn't it going to get... Wait, it's already hard? Huh, I don't think oh, this is meant to go no. inside Because from your I perception, that's be... such a fantastical situation yeah. that you would never find yourself in. <laughs> <laughs> of yeah. course. We got a real Mike Matei over here. Is uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, what the fuck does that mean? Mike Matei has a huge cock. He yeah. does? That's canon. Has yeah, canon it's like 11 life. inches long. You can see it in a video when he shows it off. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> really? I haven't yeah. seen that. But... Yeah, he, he tells James like that his wife loves it. Well, I well then. Yeah, because James Rolfe is a cuckold. Well, that's true. Okay, well, let's move yeah. on. Um, I, I have another one, I, like a whole separate topic that I wanted to bring up. And I know this has been uh, discussed many times by, by various members of our organization here. But I want to talk about <laughs> anthropomorphization, specifically when it comes to like mm-hmm. animals and shit. And I, I just oh, yeah. want to make a, a broad point at first, at least how I look at this stuff. I mean, and, and uh, you know, several of us have made videos about this. But like, when I, like for example, My Little Pony, right? Okay, so those ca- those those. Wait, what's that? That's what it's, it's that? this you know it's this famous Japanese anime. You probably have, <laughs> but it's oh, uh, don't they have a movie coming out soon that we're all gonna go review together? I'm pretty on excited. the TBAP channel. There, there's gonna be some things. There's gonna be some things happening with that. Uh oh, very excited for it. Uh, but so like when I jack off to a My Little Pony, as I do all the time, uh, like what <laughs> what what I'm jacking <laughs> off to is their human characteristics that of are course. attractive to me. It, like, there's no difference to me between jacking off to, like, um, I don't know, Rarity or, like, uh, some anime character. Because neither of them are exactly human. What you're jacking off to is this sort of representation of a human female, which I find sexually appealing because, because I am a human male and I am programmed to respond to these things. Like, right. they've got the a pussy. Hooves, there it is. The mane, Here I go. the cutie the, mark. The, yeah, you know, exactly. To me, all, all those human things. Their, their faces... To, to me, um, yeah, go on, Gib. Like, um, anthropomorphization is so, like, banal. It's like... Exactly. It, a lot it's of the time, a... it's really just surface-level features. As long as they have tits, you know? Yeah. But like, as but long the ponies as like a, don't a, have tits. Okay, but if you doggy style well, fuck them, then you can no, just I mean, lick their like ass, the which just looks like a human ass. The, no, no, yeah. no. The, the like the the, uh, the anthropomorphize like images of like ponies as if they were humans. Oh. They're just girls with tits. And I, what, what, what are you what are you talking well, about? Well, I'm kind of talking about like <laughs> you like, fucking freak. I'm talking about the ponies themselves and the way they have human character. Like they aren't just horses. They're like this yeah. cartoonified oh, yeah. version of horses that are yeah. you know, have a lot of Hippo. human characteristics. That's come on. Well, um, I made a video about that many yeah, years ago, can be sexy. and I think it was great. I love that video. The, uh, I think it made a lot of I good think points. the appeal makes a lot more sense. It's, it's much more uh, apparently obvious, evident, self-evident if you check out Monster Girls. And, I mean, Monster Moose that made the show will immediately educate you as to the appeal, which is yep. you're yep. getting everything, that, usually 75 to 85 percent of everything that you like about human girls mm-hmm. with some cool animal features tacked on. So it's That's like right. the idea of, like, man, wouldn't it be cool if you could ride your girls back? And, like, she's perfectly comfortable taking you around town like that, you know? How would it feel to be fucking her from behind, but so far behind that her head's all the way, like, fucking over there because she's a goddamn horse, right? She's a centaur baby, right? That's the thing that, like... um, Spider girls are pretty good. Rockinair is great. Rockinair is great. She's best girl, love her. She's a Or, like, Lola Bunny, you could do her bunny style and then play human basketball with her. That's true. Wait, what's bunny style? Is that where they uh, you just, you just jump we'll get into that in Fetish's part, too. Okay. <laughs> um, well, okay, I mean, that's pretty much my entire point. I just want to kind of go over that. Like, yeah, I will jack off to, uh, to like, furries all the time. I'm not a furry at all, but I have absolutely right. no problem, like, jacking off to a furry necessarily. I mean, like, Yeah, like, that's not further... what I'm into. I'm into, like, the, right. the female human Oh, yeah, human there's plenty of furry of stuff, like... Yeah. Um, like the further furry it gets, the furrier it gets, the more I have a hard time with it. Like, exactly. you know, yeah. some ears, pff, nothing, right? Some fur on the skin, as long as the art's good. Muzzles, you better have a really hot context and some good dialogue that I'm going to be able to jack <laughs> off yeah. to, or else yeah. like, I can't go any further, right? Um, like, yeah, and like sometimes I specifically seek out furry art because it has its own culture, its own, like, its own style, and sometimes I'm into some of the things it does. Furry art Makes is sense. way more just abrupt with getting to the point of what it wants, at least like in the whole <laughs> diaper zone, like art that is both furry and <laughs> diaper is uh-huh. just way more like, all right, here's what you want. Boom. Crank it up to 11. Furry art tends to crank things up to 11 and be even more I've shameless as well. and direct. What's than that, the... kid? Now, I've noticed that as well. Like furry oh, okay. art is like always like shameless. Like they're huge. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's huge every time, right. every single thing that there could be. 
Right. So some. So like oh, I was I like see. I was on a pretty big furry kick for like a week, a month or two ago because I was just really into a shamelessness kick, and furry the furry community provides that. You know, it's like a good yeah. example of that. There, for for many many years, there's been a, a vast shortage of like Kingdom Hearts porn, but like Kingdom Hearts furry porn. Now there's <laughs> a diverse community out there. There's tons really? of that shit. Uh, to some extent, I mean, it's, I'm not an expert, but like I feel like I've seen at least as much, if not far is more. Is there the furry. Lion King in that? Is that is that is that I, why? I, well, Sora does become a lion in Kingdom Hearts two, which you should play oh. and find out yourself because it's pretty cool. Did somebody have sex with the the Keyblade? <laughs> um, the Keyblade is not too involved in Nate, this situation. Uh, there's gotta be a porn of I have a, a key woman fetish, fucking so that's my problem. an actual Keyblade model, yeah, right? I, it's gotta I, be I, somewhere. I, uh, people, probably. people who are into, like, fucking metal things are probably called shinies, right? Oh, they're Shinies. called uh, by that, <laughs> maybe. I, well, when it comes to um, uh, like it, my, my mind as as a porn consumer of my mind, if, be like, crows. if I wanted to make like crows a, are into crows are into shiny porn. Crows would be into that. My mind, when it comes to Kingdom Hearts porn, if like you wanted to involve the Keyblade, it would be like some sort of situation where they're like unlocking this like ultimate chastity belt or something, you know, where like you the key is used to <laughs> access the vagina in some way, and chastity mm. belt comes to mind. You know, I'd go for something like that. Or you could fuck him with the Keyblade, though it would be pretty uncomfortable. It's not really shaped for that. But, uh, you know, you could, <laughs> like, oh, sorry. Life finds a way. What if, what if you, the, what if, uh, yeah, go on, Gib. <laughs> what if it's like an anthropomorphized door with a keyhole per vagina? Oh, my God. Hell yeah. I've never seen sure. that one, Hell but. Yeah. That's a good idea. Let's get to it, boys. Let's get drawing. <laughs> Let's get writing. That's the next draw cast. <laughs> That's a good idea. Whichever, if, if all the artists yeah. in the audience haven't been drawing everything we've been saying up to yeah. this point, they should be. If oh, any, I need any... lots of fan art of yeah. Devu and his girlfriend pooping on each other. Oh, no, that's not the, no, that's just scat zone. That's just the actual zone oh. of like being into the tactility okay. of it. I'm not. That's, that's too not, far. Don't do that. No, no, no. That's that's like just that's really just for people who want to like have the feeling of it, which I am not into at all. That's why I'm pretty hesitant to do it. It's like Can we draw to... Devu in a diaper. Oh, uh, I don't want to <laughs> jack off to myself. I mean, I guess yeah. I, I don't guess know what girlfriend your girlfriend would. looks like, dude. I I can't like. I mean, draw no one, her. No one wants to jack off to like their own situation. What's fascinating about porn is like the the newness of it, the the, the fantasy of it that you can get involved with personally. Yeah. Porn yourself. Uh, I don't know. I can. Uh, I mean, there was a little porn of drawn of my of, of keg standard back in the day, which was fine. Uh, but uh, Nate, the other day somebody drew. Uh, art uh-huh. of you as a girl, and you jerked off to that in the PCP chat for like an hour. But that's because that's <laughs> different fantasy from your real life, and yeah. sexy and something. Well, I don't it's, know. it's oh, yeah. you. I definitely get turned on by PCP no, 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 art no. if I'm in. Monkey, it. hold the fuck on. You tell uh, like <laughs> like uh, Rule sixty three versions of yourself are yeah. like some of the hottest things to jack off to because like yeah. you to know yourself. yourself and it's not just you though it's girl you and and contrary to popular belief there are actual differences between uh women and men look it up google is a big fan of this theory um so <laughs> so you know like there's differences there and we could explore them together while to i google. pound the shit out of her vagina and i mean i will say right now on my channel i'm doing an art contest to draw me as a girl oh, doing right. lesbian shit with luna lovegood Dude, but yeah. i oh, yes. like i don't masturbate to it i just appreciate it but i guess i'm just not in that headspace of wanting to jerk off to myself i mean if there was like a doujin of like this female version character of me that someone had made like i, I would absolutely jack off to it uh, to, without a doubt uh, uh, but well, like get to work pcp you know fans. i've never I been much don't... of a, like a jack off to picture kind of guy though that's just not really my i actually don't know whether i would if it was like a girl version of me yeah i don't well, know i don't know it why that situation that's... though like, if, oh, it's, if yeah. it's me, like, editing a video and, like, releasing it, and I'm like, yay, that was fun. Also, I'm a girl. Also, I'm going to suck this cock now. Like, Hell yeah. You know, like, that's <laughs> Wait, not just really like a masturbate life. to yourself sucking a cock? Well, if it's girl version of me, that's one of the many sexual acts that but, she could but do. But the thing is, w- when you watch porn, you imagine yourself as the dick, but now you're imagining yourself as the person sucking well, yeah, the dick. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm still projecting. Sucking your own dick. Exact, exactly what no, you're like. no, no, sucking no. somebody else's dick. I, I'm projecting myself in this situation as the guy getting fucked by the gender-swapped version of myself. Wait, so, so you're I'm imagining so you having sex with yourself. Oh, come on. This is, this is basic shit. You, I know that you've thought of this a thousand <laughs> times yourself. No, I haven't. Oh, come on. Come no, on. <laughs> what Nate, the fucking this- Talking about. When I'm thinking of girl version of me, and I'm thinking of me getting fucked by a dude. I'm thinking, oh my god, what? How would I feel being oh, fucked with the see, vagina? Okay, I am not thinking about it that way. I'm, I'm not thinking about that. Way. I'm You're thinking, thinking about sucking my cock. own. I'm thinking about like, like a female <laughs> version of me that exists that I could then fuck, and that's that's what I'm, you know. That's <laughs> I what mean, I'm that doing. is it's kind of like funny to. 
Because you are the best guy ever, so of That's course right. you'd have enough of an ego to want to fuck yourself. Dude, every right. person in the world. I don't believe that you don't want to fuck your own gender swap version of yourself. Right. Every, I, I, I know thought about it. The girl does. version about. of me is going to be as ugly as me. Right, and but I, I'm I have a, higher I'm a standards. I'm god. I'm a fucking beautiful but hero yeah, so man. Don't push your beliefs onto me. I don't want to fuck me. Okay, I'm you know hideous. What? You know what? That's fair. That's Why fair. do you think I wear a monkey mask in these <laughs> fucking videos, dude? Yeah, all right. Okay. I don't want to fuck I've, that. I've, I've had the, the, the thought, because everyone has mm. the idea, like, what would it be like if you met a female version of yourself? Yeah. And I'm just, all I think about is, like, the conversations we would have, uh, or how awkwardly it would begin, or whether we would even want to hang around each other. Uh, mm. And then mm. it doesn't really ever go further than that. I don't know why uh, this so it's so different for you and for me. Well, it's like a, a pair of twins where one's a boy and one's a girl. Like, yeah. do, do like, they like, want to fuck I each can't other? Imagine. Is that they masturbation? Do. I Absolutely. Can, I, 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 do enjoy, like, I do enjoy like I do kind of enjoy like the idea of me as a girl just uh, for the cute aspect, like like seeing like yeah. drawings of me uh, just gender bent, just doing normal things, like just being a pretty girl. Like, yeah, that would be nice. That's cool. I I like that idea. The the, the the idea that I'm mm -hmm. the the other gender and I just look better because you know yeah yeah and, like, and that's of why when I play Pokemon I always play as the girl I'd rather be yeah. a girl but that doesn't mean I want to fuck me and of course there's like a bit of a fantasy element to it like you know you can like in your head make your female version look like basically whatever you want so like yeah of course that's real but like when I kind of think of this female version of me she's also an anime character so <laughs> right. So, you know, like, that's, that's, uh... That's and also a My Little Pony. <laughs> of course. Yeah, anime. I already covered that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Devu, have you finished your big story yet? The big story? He's gotten through all yeah, his points that now, you, I think, right? You said, that, you said that he had, like, a whole thing planned oh, out. Oh, I've, I've just been, like, taking it. down notes occasionally here and there. I have another one, which is, okay. like, um, okay. Hippo talked about, like, other emotions that get attached. Because we are an hour in, just to let you guys know. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I'm looking at the waveform. Yeah. I'm paranoid about audio glitches. So... <laughs> yeah. Like, Hippo was talking yeah. about how, like, things can be scary, and I believe he was alluding to the idea that it sort of enhances the emotions. It, like, gets your blood ro rolling a little bit faster, and that can, like, yeah. that can, like, you know, enhance the groin area action, if you know what I mean. It's like some subdom and, shit, right? Right. Yeah. And, like, there are lots of things I'm just fascinated with in general that then also become fetishes. They were, like, um, hold on. Wait a second. Oh, anyway, they, there are things that I can. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? There are things you got I his can. dick out. Of course. Sorry, there's just Mine's people walking the around. Time. I haven't been. I haven't had like much of my own room in the last handful of months. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, there are things I was fascinated with uh, for a long time, even like as a child, and my body did whatever it could manage to do to, to turn me on in some way. I didn't have the resources <laughs> yet, right? Mm -hmm. But there's just general <laughs> fascinations, right? Gender bending is definitely one of them. The, the exploration of of the other sex back and forth is a very interesting concept for me. Um, so much, I'm really so obsessed with that concept that it pisses me off when it shows up in a piece of media because it's always done as a hmm. joke or for quick fan service or for like some sort of sitcom-y thing, a la Ranma one half, and never really explored uh, like as a real theme, as a real okay. narrative, right? And I love it when it's really talked about, when it's really like explored like in an interesting, intimate way, but it's almost never done that, and it always teases me. So It pisses me off so bad, both for my dick and for my heart, because I find it a fascinating <laughs> concept. And it... So I, I feel like I'd never be able to like watch Ranma one half. I'm even really hesitant about watching uh, Your Name because I know it's going to have that thing, and I know they're not going to really explore that in depth. They're just yeah, going to have some yeah. scenes that tease me, and I'll be I'll just be left frustrated, right? But what I want to do, and I have done sometimes, is you know there are some like um, there's some etchy freaking mangas out there that really explore it. There's one where this guy gets into the body of like a seven year old girl, and like like it's great for the first. It's called um, Ichi Nensei ni na Chatura. And it's like almost every page is in service of either your dick or like feeling the concept of what it would be to suddenly be in this different body, right? Oh, wait, so what does he do as the seven-year-old girl? Oh, you know, go to school, but 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 still secretly study for his exams in high school because that's what he um, has to do. Hang on, um, how's that sexual? Yes, I think yes, I, I think I may have seen that or seen something very similar. I think I told a, you about a, it. Yeah. No, but it, it was like this this idea that. This guy got transformed into the body of a of a little girl or a little boy. I forget. But yeah, there's, it, a, there's it, a fair it, handful it was, of them. Yeah, and it it was like he he thought he could uh, he thought it was great because like oh hmm. I'm I'm younger now I, and I have all this future knowledge. Mm -hmm. But then slowly 
his like uh, future knowledge started to oh, go away as no. he realized that he Hippo. had a child's brain. You're gonna brain. have to find that and link that to me. Cause, cause then he was like, <laughs> he was like, oh, I, f- I don't know how to count anymore. What, what, what's going Shit. on? That's oh my god, I have to read that one. That's like I don't even scary. know what it was. It may have been like, like it was years ago. That I think wow. I've seen that. Yeah, that's definitely not the one I'm referring to. See, I, now I was gonna talk about like um, age regression. That's just my outright favorite concept in anything. Mental thought, hypothetical, science fiction, fetishes, anything. That's my favorite thing Hey, hey, One ever. Piece uh, movie 10 has a bunch of age regression of, of all the characters, but especially Nami becomes a little baby girl, and Robin goes from, like, 30 to, like, 27 or something. And looks No, she goes, like, 16. No, she goes, looks exactly the same, yeah. but it's Ooh, 14. Confusing. See, but same That's problem. It would just piss me off because it wouldn't yeah, go deep yeah. enough. And like, what about Benjamin Button? There's a whole movie about yeah, I actually didn't finish that movie. I mean, it's a, it's a dude. I'm not, like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't finish. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, yeah, like, so, like, the, the, the manga I mentioned before, Ichi Nensei Ni Nachatara. Um, it's, like, probably the most complicated Japanese title I can enunciate. Uh, I know Nichi Nensei it, means first year. That's what right. I know, folks. There you right. go. So, um, he, uh, like, in the second, the, the book always refers to him as he, uh, just because he mm-hmm. never, he never accepts it, right? He eventually gets cured at the very end. Um, but like, because as and, we all know, gender is what you identify as, as opposed to your biology. This right. is what so I chapter okay. two, he like wakes up and like Nate, shut up <laughs> and like starts walking around the room and like immediately, like it has all this dissonance with how long, it, how many steps it takes to get to, from place to place, how mm-hmm. much he has to reach to grab shit. And like, just, just, it, it always explores like how different things feel for him. There's a part where like he has to like jump up on a pole to like save himself. And he like, is oh, he's jumping on up pole. on that pole. I'll let me tell you about that. Well, yeah, but what happens oh. is that as he's holding to the pole really tightly, he's like, oh man, in my old body, this would like, I'd be feeling the pressure against my dick right now. And this would be fun. Wow. But in this body, it doesn't do anything for me. Right? Oh, they're going there's deep. Like, there's okay. like, there's like a multiple part chapter where he's like, tries to figure out whether or not he can like, you know, masturbate in that young girl's body or not. Right. <laughs> so like, like, it's like it's just constantly exploring like what is happening to him and that's what I want okay. I actually found out about it I think from D because someone posted a comment saying I really what I really want out of age regression and um, like transgender stories is not so much just going ham on the fan service as much as explore what happens to their life like show them hanging out right I remember some people talking about they like it when like a guy gets turned into a woman and it just stays like that for years and has kids right that's sure. what I really want to see I want to yeah, like see Bruce like, Jenner <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, right. yeah, that's um, it, and then for me, it's like, I don't know that exploration of being in a different body, of having the that like age, uh, taken away from you, mm-hmm. is a very fascinating concept. That is definitely definitely my least favorite thing about reality is it doesn't have that or gender bending remotes. I know for months, <laughs> I mean, I know for months, like gender bender and age regression remotes should be a real thing was a suggested title topic for PCP. Um, that's true. Uh. Next so, week, we already well, no, we already did. There's that. not really mu- there's not really much to say about it at this point. Oh. Um, we did gender swapping, remember yeah, that? Yeah. So like the fact that I'm so into it as a concept gives it so much allure, even if someone were to just cut off my dick. And like so the fact then that it also it feeds into it, right? And it creates this feedback loop of still having a burning passion for it, even after I'm done. I'm still thinking about it, being like, yeah, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know what you mean. Well. All right, there you go. Um, all right, let's. Anybody got some final points to make on this before we go to questions? I think it's um, about that time. Well, I could talk a little bit more about the whole like giant woman thing because I didn't really say anything giant about that. Giant woman. Okay, let's go do for it. it. Well, I think I like I like the idea of like girls that are taller than me, which is usually it's the other way around. Like the the short girl is the the cute one, and the, you got to be a tall man. But I'm not tall. And I've always annoyed that the yeah, the fact that I'm not tall because it seems like tall guys get everything. Um, so it was like don't worry, man. Light, at man some point, uprising is coming. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. And at some we point, I just finish I, what Elliot started. <laughs> That's right. I just sort of liked the idea that a, a woman could be like bigger than me and like uh, you know put her arms around me and then cradle me like an idiot, like a stupid small little man. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> Do you masturbate to the Pieta sculpture? The the what? The Pieta where uh, it's uh, uh, the Virgin Mary and she's like nine feet tall cradling a little tiny Jesus. <laughs> oh, uh, Someone no. should uh, draw that picture and replace Jesus with Gib. Just put oh, him in there. You, you have to do it. Someone, please, please give me Hippo <laughs> and the Pieta. <laughs> 
I guess I didn't really have much to say about it. I like giant stuff. I like big things. It's good. Big things uh, fetishes. Come in small packages, Gib. Yeah, that's why my last girlfriend broke up with me. She liked big things too. <laughs> <laughs> the big things come in small packages argument wasn't really enough for her when I, <laughs> no, uh, you she, know, in the bedroom. She wasn't buying it. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't give a fuck about the motion of the ocean. She wanted to wave. <laughs> it's so it's sad, but true, folks. Let's all kill ourselves. <laughs> um, okay, let me let me just finish. I just want to make one final point, just to sum up what I was saying before. Remember, folks, it's totally normal to be in all kinds of weird, fucked up shit. A lot of it just stems from the experiences you have in your life. You know, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm sure that's an explanation for like most of the reason why I'm into the, the stuff that I'm into sexually. Um, uh, not that I'm that weird or anything, but uh, yeah, just uh, I don't know. Don't don't shame anybody. This is all totally no. normal. You know, I think. It's Don't shame normal. anybody, but if they rape a retarded person, do arrest them. Uh, I agree. I yeah, agree. I do endorse that. By the way, I'm not. I'm saying that should be arrested. That that wouldn't be allowed. That shouldn't be allowed. As just as Devu slyly slides away his proposition to make rape illegal, <laughs> uh, just slide that under my under my desk here. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, that that's would it. be the the great PCP civil war. Is that Devu wants to make rape le le legal and De Munchie <laughs> wants to make sex outlaw? Yeah, they have to go to war. That's It'll a just great be like idea. in the near future where probably smoking will be banned and weed will be legal everywhere. Everything just gets <laughs> flip flopped. You know what I mean? See, I, I, if there is a war, I can't be on Munchie's side because people always confuse us for each other, and I'll probably get assassinated when they're trying to get him. That's true. That's right. true. Wouldn't it be even worse if even if you were on the opposite side, they still assassinate you by oh. mistake? Now that somebody would be on my team, exactly. Yeah. That would be really surely a, shame. a war of, of of people who like sex and people who don't like sex would instantly, well, not instantly, but eventually, the people who like sex would win because they would make more soldiers. Exactly. <laughs> but then again, maybe That's our a good point. maybe our heroic virgins, like Isaac Newton types, like they would all get together in advanced science by like a thousand years because they're not distracted by disgusting sex havers anymore. Maybe <laughs> yeah, that would happen. The, you those know? heroic virgins, like yeah. uh, like Elliot Rodger or the Columbine kids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Columbine kids, yeah, our heroes. The, Elliot Rodger would have been uh, a fine warrior if he had a cause to 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 wave his, you know, to, to a banner to wave. You know, a, if he a had a to, well, real to car to batter him. people with, he had he had yeah. some some issues to sort out uh, beyond just <laughs> his his main thing. Uh, okay. hey, he was pretty good at World of Warcraft. Hey, no no argument there. And that, yeah, what he makes knows a how man to raid. beyond his Warcraft account? Really, <laughs> not much. All right, let's go to our questions here, everybody. Uh, remember, right. uh, hashtag AskPCP. We do it every Saturday. There you go. Uh, at hey, TV actually, can I, can I come out with like a little bit of an announcement, like to talk about some shit that's happening? I, I was just checking okay. my Twitter. So, okay, here's some YouTube titles for you. <clears throat> the big change in the anime industry that has people... I can't read the rest. Her potential is insane. <laughs> he saved this one, dot, dot, dot. Oh, no. You! Five exclamation marks. Digi has gotten into some Twitter beef with some guy who doesn't like his thoughts about this shit, about the whole anime streaming thing. He's doing it publicly, so I'm not breaking any boundaries here. Now, I'm not going to make any comment myself. I haven't watched this guy. His name is For Never World, or as I like to call him, Forlorn Hope that he'll ever get laid in his life. He said... Guy. I'm not a bad YouTuber. Uh, he said, <clears throat> I'm a bad YouTuber, responding to Digi, calling him a bad YouTuber. <clears throat> he says, when you don't have to rely on clips and images to get audience retention, come back to me. Wait, so I guess he's wait, referring, what? I think what? he's referring to how Digi's videos, like with you, Nate, like the podcasts, get uh -huh. less views. Um, listen, it's not because they don't have images. I mean, that's part of it. The fact that you don't rely on images to get views of Forlorn Hope that you'll ever get laid is that all of your videos have clickbait titles and his Wait, do not I, as often. So look, dude, anyway, I, that's all I have to say about that. I, I don't give a fuck about this beef between Digi and this other guy, but but like, is he making a, I, I don't understand the point. Is he saying that it is bad to add clips and images mm, to yeah. your videos? No, I think, I I think he was saying that, uh, uh, you, the only reason people watch your videos is because you put clips in them. Yeah, like you're but, one of those mainstream guys who, who like, who like dull the senses of your audience with a bunch of fancy clip well, keys dangling before their foreheads. That's that's why I don't understand the point about what you said about like he's like, but that that isn't an insult to the videos of that's just a still image of from one anime that we just leave up and don't animate because like we're not yeah. editing anything that's just yeah I'm, I'm looking at it it looks like all of his videos are just vlogs with his with his big face in the camera so <laughs> okay well this is I a mean, huge it's, waste it's of funny, time like, it's uh... funny that i'm it's funny that i'm jumping into like putting my put like sticking my dick in this hornet's nest on the podcast <laughs> that is literally loaded with the most material against me that could possibly be posted <laughs> yeah. but hey fucking whatever <laughs> 
Well, to be fair, right. this uh, you posted a picture, and this four never world guy, his own chosen profile picture looks like a retarded person. So I I wouldn't feel too bad about what he has to say. Yeah, I uh, I don't give right. a shit let's, about any of this. Get let's to get to the questions. I just had to get that off my tongue. Okay, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, uh, I, I, here's one. Um, at Aaron underscore Fell asks, why did you all pick your respective names? Apart from Nate, we all know why. I'm the best guy ever. What can I say? Shut uh, the fuck up. That's a good question. <laughs> um, uh, hypocrite was. I've been just trying. I've been trying a... to figure out the meaning behind that. I just. I can't tell what hypocrite means. Please explain what do you it mean? to me. It all means right, that puns okay. are awesome. It means it's, uh, I, I thought, like, critical hit, uh, and also gaming critic. Like, cr uh, critical hits are in games, mm -hmm. gaming critic, crit, and oh. hypocrite, as in, like, uh, uh, it's an animal. I and I just thought part. of that one day out of nowhere, and I thought, I gotta have that if that's gonna be, a, it, I gotta keep that name. So I made a YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, so that I could, you know, keep it. And then, good, that, that's good, it. good boy. I, was I thought it was because you always logically contradicted yourself and were acknowledging that you well, were that, a hypocrite, but that, also that, you that's, are that's very also bad the at reason. spelling because you're English. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Quit surprised the, there's not like a, a U in there at, or something. At the beginning, at the beginning, my 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 thing was also on top of all those other parts of the pun, hypocrite, as in uh, I was I I will say things hypocritically so that in case I actually do yeah. be a hypocrite, I could say, look, well, look at my name. What are you gonna do, <laughs> nigga? What is the channel called? <laughs> what are you fucking talking yeah, about? Yeah, you, you've got covered for life. It's I haven't really utilized life. that at all because uh, uh, by I, I'm I'm be, I, the only way I'm a hypocrite in is that my name is hypocrite, but I'm not hypocritical. That's right. that's, that's true. That's how I. That's oh, how that I very do. true. Uh, uh, Monkey, oh, I, the, the appeal, the appeal of Hippo's channel for me is that he is so authentic and genuine with his love for like the games he played when he was younger. So I wouldn't like it if he started saying hypocritical things like for a meme. I yeah. think it'd take away from some of the magic. I so agree. I'm glad you haven't done that. Monk My name is mm -hmm. is uh, it was not chosen as a u username. It was a name uh, thrust upon me in high school by my so-called friends because they noticed that I resemble. Both a human um, and a monkey. <laughs> so they, they went ahead and threw those words together, and it stuck, and I embraced it, and now that's me. Oh, I, I, I didn't know that that came from, like, friends or something. That's pretty cool. Well, yeah. I could see where they, they got that idea from, from the, you know, the way you look in videos. You, you do yeah. kind of look like a monkey. <laughs> yep. I'm very happy with it. And it, it helps that I'm five foot seven because I'm about the height of a monkey, too. Uh, okay, Davu. That's taller than me. Uh, my username means that. Well, yeah, but you're a gibbon. I don't really you're smaller like. Than a monkey. When I got on the internet, I didn't really feel like having a username. My first, my first name was like just my name, but like like condensed a bit. Mm -hmm. But then my dad was like, uh, "It just looks too much like your name. You know, that looks kind of dangerously Googleable." I'm like, "Okay." It's very you know, interesting that your dad was giving you critiques on your usernames for your online activities. I mean, it was like That's it was like it was like my name and then like the, my last initials, and he was like, "I don't know. That seems a little dangerously Googleable." I'm like, "You're okay, right." I see. Okay. And I just had this i don't know what day what moment what what fever dream just the whole idea of uh, taking my name which is david then just changing the last syllable to an ooh <laughs> came from and uh you know I, I i just came up with when i was 13 i never changed it pretty fortunate because it seems to age pretty well like the further i go on in my life it just seems to take on new meanings like people my pcp friends you guys tend to describe it as like sounding all mysterious like i'm some sort of abstract <laughs> mythological beast yeah um i always thought or of like it, it, it like rhymes a... with uh da poo which is <laughs> <a joke. laughs> and that too i i always thought of it as soon as i saw it i thought ah da voodoo like 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 he's a witch dog. oh shit Wow. I uh, it reminds me a little bit of I've, my my friend John that I reference sometimes on here. He actually he like calls himself John Tron. John Tron, that's right. Nah, it's a different John. He calls himself John Os sometimes. Like that, it's not his name. He just came up with it and like introduces himself as John Os sometimes. So nice. No idea why. Yeah. Now the part of my name that didn't age too well is I I, I was calling myself like the Great Davu. Because, you know, that's like mm -hmm. internet being making yourself all a grandiose. Usually because Davu is usually taken from most websites, because I think it's like a Spanish word name or something. So mm -hmm. it's actually not. Up, up until a couple of years ago, my name was like very, uh, very bad for Google. Like, because there'd just be like some, I think it was some rapper called Davu, that producer or whatever. So 
It's not great for Googling, but usually Dude. the devu is never taken, so it's a perfect middle ground. That's how, why the the stuck around. How great is it to finally beat Google and overcome that, like, search <laughs> result thing? When, like, I remember yeah. for, like, a year after starting Best Guy Ever, like, when I searched it, all this other shit comes up that I didn't give a fuck about. But now, finally, I have conquered Google, and now Dude, my shit comes up. But I've been noticing even... hypocrite does not come up initially when you search oh. hypocrite, and it pisses it's me It's all the fuck people off. misspelling it. Yeah, it, or it, yeah, it auto corrects to normal hypocrite. It's it's one of the it's the one of the the biggest tragedies. I didn't even think about it that. Will, it yeah. will be fixed in time. You just have to grow more, and that that just works itself out. You just have to I, grow I, more no hippo, doubt. just like all that art you look to. Exactly. Oh. So I can jack off to it. I was about to say though that the pod cast actually came up when I typed it in. Really? Nice. I was having that same problem. That's that's great. Mm. Do you have to put like the period after the d and shit? No, I didn't. Whoa. Just put a space. Well, fuck. I gotta try that out. Uh, okay. Nick. In my house, all the period comes before the D. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. At Papa Mutt, uh, Papa Mutt Dog asks, Ew. "Is the vape pen might? <laughs> Shut up! You ruined my flow. <laughs> is the vape pen mightier than the sword? Um, the There's vape a vape pen? sword. Is the vape pen mightier than? Could the sword? you imagine? Uh, could you imagine a vape sword? Like it's actually a, the size of a sword, and you and you blow or you suck on one side, and the and it comes out of the tip of the sword right Whoa. at the end. I imagine it's like, like just take this potion sword and For just go reason, and hit people with it. Saying vape sword reminds me of Invisible Air, which is the name of Saber Sword from Fate Stay Night, which is Lol. actually just it's actually just Excalibur, but they pretend that it's Invisible I, Air. I would like Ben to have a vape sword. Me too. Yeah. It would be very. It would be. That would very be cool. his fucking. That would be. His I would like syllabus. Ben to not be alive. That's, no, wait. A, a, a vape katana. There we go. That would. That would. Ben, no, ben, ben, ben is practiced. Be Ben's uh, specibus. It would be vape. It have ben, to be right. Uh, well, Ben oh, is yeah. practiced in the art of kendo and has maxed out his bushido stat. So he's he's ready <laughs> for that vape katana. Okay. Here's the greatest comment ever. This isn't a question. It's just a comment. But at Jam Schmain, it's spelled kind of funny. Says. Thanks for fat shaming me into losing ten pounds. Hashtag fit oh, boy. Oh shit! Hell yes, your main man Manny is his, like his. Oh well, thing. that guy. I know him. You, uh, you're welcome, dude. And I will continue on this quest to fat shame everyone into getting their shit together. Uh, because there's no excuse to not, uh, you know, be a fit person. Excellent. Thank God for you. You're a hero. Um. Oh, here we go. At Swag Dude. I don't know if you want to answer this, Davu, but he's asking, how's Davu's video game going? Oh, um, very, very slowly. I just keep, you know, I'll, I'll spend just weeks mm -hmm. at a time just editing uh, videos and then watching anime. It's, it's definitely, like, I don't know exactly what speed it's going to take, but I'm having a huge fun time with it. I am learning the incredible power of, like, <clears throat> and when you're a teenager, you have unlimited time but no purpose in life, so you're depressed. You're too depressed to make anything that, all right. that good. Well, at least that's how I was. As an adult, I have that sense of mission, but the sense of mission and the needing to make money can also sort of trap you. It can keep you trapped in this need mm -hmm, for money. Mm -hmm. So basically, I've made enough money to, well, <laughs> I have not really a decent amount of money, but I have my own career now <laughs> and I have all my spare time. And so I've bought myself that teenage sort of lifestyle to work on something because I want to make it and it doesn't have to make its money back. I think it might because I mean, I don't know. Probably only like 108 people are going to buy it. That's basically what I'm prepared for. But it's so great to just have all this time to make something that I want to make. Uh, but yeah, it's going, it's going around very, very, very slowly. Don't expect it out by the end of the decade. The decade? Looking forward to it. Hey, that's only three years. You know, it's not that bad. Oh, I thought he meant like the next 10 years. I was like, well, fuck. No, this decade's <laughs> almost over, so it probably won't be like, this decade. Like, I want to be alive to play the game, so yeah. please don't take 10 years. I'll be dead. Oh, yeah, definitely not taking <laughs> that long, yeah. Okay, here we go. Hindu Hindu god of homos asks. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, good guess. Yeah. Are boats good? What is the best boat? No. <laughs> uh, I love boats. Boats. Uh, uh, the best kind of boat is a boat that uh, can fly. Uh, and, her, yeah. and her name is Going Mary. Going Mary is the best boat. No, no, really. Like, like the idea of of oh. uh, a pirate galleon that has either magically or scientifically the ability to uh, fly through the air is my favorite thing of all time. Hey, you know what you would like then? Final Fantasy, specifically Final Fantasy IX, because it's full yep. of those. Yep. Oh, well, there we go. You also like fuck. the you like the music video Boats and Hoes. <laughs> uh, you gotta have me my boats and hoes. I think is how it goes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Here's one at the Wolfheart. Hey, what's up, dude? This guy's a good artist, man. Uh, between single and multiplayer, do you think one is superior, and does the single lack of the other superior. affect your interest in a game? 
So single player yeah, will single make me want to play. Better. I very singularly focused on single player games for the most part. Yes. Uh, yeah, multiplayer. It's as long as it's if it's turn based multiplayer, like a card game, it's okay. But uh, generally, the idea of playing online with people. Uh, the internet fucks me over more than, often than I would like, and it yeah. just annoys me. I have, I yeah, I'm back to having not viable internet, so it doesn't even matter anyway. You know what's funny about this? I almost entire, I almost exclusively play single player games, but I just so happened I got Splatoon two recently Ooh. for my Switch, which I have been playing more than any other video game. Uh, which is to say, like I'll play like one or two games a day, which is like 15 minutes, but. I'll still do it, and it's fun, and it, I'm certainly playing it more than any other game right now. Of course, I did just beat Hollow Knight, and that took, you know, like 40 hours split out over many weeks of playing. Yeah. So I guess I should clarify, uh, competitive multiplayer games I hate. Like, playing on a Minecraft server with people, that's fun. That is yeah. super fun. That is super fun. I used to play League of Legends a lot, but I just cut the time out because it's not fun, and it sucks. Didn't everybody say Splatoon 2 sucks? Splatoon 2 is fun as fuck. I mean, I, I bought uh, it because... Splatoon 2 splats. The biggest complaint was that it's too much like Splatoon 1, and it certainly is, oh. but the thing is, I never owned Splatoon 1, so I just wanted to play this game all the time, and I, I don't have a Wii U, so I needed to get Switch, and I, I already had a Switch, so I bought Splatoon 2, and it's exactly what I wanted, and it delivered, and it's fucking great for me. Maybe not for everybody. Yeah. All, the only thing I know about new video games is what Video Game Donkey tells me, so I just assumed it sucked. Yeah, he's uh, yeah, he he was one of the guys making the criticism. I think that's just like it's not enough. It's just like the same game again with some extra couple of things. It's like a DLC that you got conned out of fifty bucks for. For people who played Splatoon One and owned it, and like if they were buying this to get an upgrade or get like the new game, like I can see why they'd be a little disappointed. But I, I like really love any it. Call of Duty game ever. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, like, like it's like this is like one of the only times Nintendo is gonna pull this kind of fast one on people. So, but like the flavor I loved, and I I got to be around. Fuck, is her name Callie or Marie? It's Marie. Yeah, Marie is there, and she's cute as fuck. And the squids. They're sisters. minerals, Marie. <laughs> I don't. Jesus understand. Christ! I don't know what that means. Explain that. That's from Breaking Bad. Oh. Good. Excellent. Good joke. Good joke fuck to you. end on, everybody. Hippo, you're supposed We're to done. get it, hippo. I saw that movie. Uh, so. I, you're goddamn right. I got okay, it. Okay, we're done. Yeah! Yeah! Excellent, excellent. Thank you for saving Hell us. Yeah. We're done, everybody. Thanks for listening. Uh, make sure you pledge to our Patreon. Go to uh, Patreon.com/slash/theprocrastinators. Get those bonus episodes, of which there are five now. Last one was Kill La Kill versus Hey Arnold. Come you, the fuck on. The result will shock. Is, you. is that the one that Ben released for free? That is the one that Ben released for yeah. free for a so minute. So everybody, you already heard this episode episode so but, go buy the other one but even if you've already heard that one you can't get to any of the others unless you go to the patreon and pledge five yeah. bucks so there you go yeah and right. there, there it is folks we're all done uh you ask us more questions next time at using a hashtag ask pcp on twitter follow us at tb Crastinators, subscribe comment fuck you etc etc all right <laughs> we're all done uh thanks for listening everybody and we will see you next week with another one. Oh, and I almost forgot. This is episode 69. This is episode oh, 69. Yeah. We did it, wow. motherfuckers. We what did it. What a really convenient coincidence that we didn't bend over ass backwards to ensure happened. I know uh -oh. it, my dude. All right, everybody say goodbye. Bye. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to.